I'll play Shuffle for you in seven seconds. So I just wanted to say, if this is for you if you've heard about Shuffle Rhythms, you think it's something valuable for you. But then on the other hand, you're struggling playing it and you don't have a concrete exercise to make that any better suit. You even go that far to avoid songs completely that are shuffled. really only three rhythm snippets that you need to learn that you can then mix and match and you're good to go for playing shuffle. I cover all three of them in this video here and I also want you to understand what's really going on in a shuffle. My name is Florian, I've been teaching guitar since 2007 and I get beginners to intermediate through inspiration sparking lessons like this one here. You find me on high guitar. So what's really going on in a shuffle, I have my metronome here. I set it to 60 BPM, so it clicks just like the clock ticks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now if we take each of these beats and divide it into two equally long sections, we would be talking about eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and, do you see the beat doesn't change, but the subdivision does. So these are straight eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Now if we do the same, we divide each beat, but this time into three equally long sections, we would be talking about triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, and so on. Now, off these triplets, if we only play the first one, and the third one, we would end up having a longer section here, which equals two of these triplets. And we would have a shorter section here, which equals just one of these triplets. We would be having this rhythm, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one, That's a shuffle right there. I mean, now in real life music, it can be a little more nuanced than that. And if you dig deeper into the topic, you'll find out more about that. But there's nothing wrong with playing perfectly aligned with triplets. The only thing we need to do now is get you comfortable with all the triplet rhythms. So here we go. So here's rhythm snippet number one. We just talked about that. And by the way, I tapped out everything and put it in a PDF. You can download it for free down below. Now rhythm snippet number one goes like this. One triplet, one triplet. So of the triplets, it's the first and the third one with a down and an upstroke. One triplet, one triplet. That played in a loop sounds like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. It's a shuffle right there. Now that rhythm snippet here in action could sound like this, very simple. Two, three, triplet, four, triplet, one, two, three, triplet, four, triplet. If you're comfortable with that and speed it up, could sound like this. So here's rhythm snippet number two, goes like this. One triplet, one triplet. So of the three triplet notes, it's the first and the second one. One triplet, one triplet. If you play that in a loop, sounds like this. One triplet, two triplet. Now that snippet in action could sound like that, very simple. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. If you speed it up later, it sounds like this. So here's rhythm snippet number three. It's all three triplet notes this time. One triplet, 
Play down, up, down. One triplet. One triplet. Now, if I want to play that in a loop, it sounds like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Now, to make it work and sound here in a loop, because there's a thing going on here, we have two downstrokes in a row, which is unusual um, for strumming. To make that work and sound, what I do is the last um, of these triplets, I just touch these top strings here, just the first three or so. Um, I don't play all the strings, which will make that beat a bit lighter and also gives me more time to come back to the top and then start over again with the downstroke. Have a look again. So it's all strings, it's just that. Uh, bottom strings and then just the top strings. That rhythm snippet in action could sound like this, very simple. Now if you speed that up later, it could sound like this. In the tabs that you will find down below, you will find all three snippets and an application where I put everything together with some nice chords, basically what I played in the beginning. So download them for free down below and then put in the time and effort because watching a video is one thing, but now you have to master these snippets and then you're good to go for shuffle. Enjoy and I'll see you in the next lesson.